I feel like a lot of people on Reddit are like, oh, I didn't notice anything. Like if you're just gonna swallow, it's just not gonna work. Sublingual administration, 100% with this compound. What is up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is 1907. Check out 1907.com coupon code Russo. ASMR spritz, we have another bottle on the way. Intelligent Elephant Carbon, coupon code Russo. Young LA code Russo. Welcome to another episode of Peducation. Today I'm going to be talking about me healing my brain with 9-M-E-B-C. Now I wanna read off the science, but I'm gonna be going into my initial impressions as well as the experience I noticed because I'm reading off limited data. They don't really know what this does and they haven't studied this elaborately at all. So this is a very risky nuanced compound. Just wanna state that right off the bat. But I did wanna shed some light on it because Parkinson's disease, Adderall abuse, meth abuse, any stimulant abuse, MDMA, all is gonna destroy dopamine levels or Andrew, a massive amount of lines made, right? You know, so I'm in this boat with destroyed dopamine. I'm trying to get my neurotransmitter content back up to baseline at a faster rate than six months, right? If you talk to like the drug guru under the bridge who gives you the MDMA before the fucking concert, he'll be like, wait six months before each time you do this. That's because the neurotransmitter death is real. And overall, I'm trying to recover it. 9MBC seems to check in there. So I do want to read what it's known to do. So it upregulates the expression of tyrosine hydroxase, as well as other transcription factors around neurite growth. Reduces inflammatory cytines released by damaged neurons and inhibits the oxidation of neurotoxin precursor MPTP and the more harmful form MPP. But they note it's still unclear how it works on a molecular level, but it seems to be obviously neuroprotective as well as stimulating new neuron growth so that's what i know on nine methyl b carbolin again very unstudied and that one's just like a random one they found to be very useful and it's very you know new obviously it is increasing dopamine it seems to be neuroprotective and stopping neuron breakdown or to um, inhibit those other precursors that lead to more neurotoxicity allowing higher dopamine levels at a faster rate to form if you're trying to come out of a substance abuse issue and or have parkinson's it's very promising you know there's there's nothing to go on this is more speculation and it's been seen to work i read it on reddit as well as a couple other forms on people's experiences before i decide to implement it into my recovery protocol you know i wanted to check out what other people had to say about it so i'm going to state the big side effect and that's you cannot go out in the sun on this shit if you go out in the sun on this shit the amount of dna damage you're going to do is going to be astronomical so if you live in sunny florida or any of these super hot places where you get a lot of direct sunlight and your mega dose in 9 methyl bicarbolin you are going to destroy yourself please take note that that's a big side effect that i doubt a lot of people know fucking around with this and you have to be completely covered outside i would not get any sort of like extreme sun exposure at all luckily i'm from pittsburgh it's overcast the entire day today and that's not an issue all right so the dosages online are anywhere from 10 to 30 50 milligrams per day the half-life seems to be guesstimated around 24 hours as far as what my initial dosing was i did a dosage last night of 40 mig and i'll go into how i felt so i felt an extreme euphoria i felt immediately better i felt like my dopamine went way up and i felt overall more drive more motivation better cognition better memory recall within like 35 minutes and as far as improving penis sensitivity because remember i've done all this penis recovery protocol content you know as far as dopamine being a big issue with sensitivity trying to recover that definitely notice a difference in sensitivity 100 percent from this compound and that was on the first initial dosing now it is a strange euphoria i felt um i won't say i felt uneasy i definitely felt like you know a little bit of over abundance of happiness but i definitely felt it working i guess i'll say it like that i didn't really it was like a head rush and then it settled back down that's what i have to note so far i definitely think if you're coming off 
years of Adderall abuse, or something that's more like long term going to be way harder to recover from than something that I'm recovering from, which is one dosage exposure. I'm not, I wasn't redlining my neurotransmitter. Sure, I caused a lot of death and it's going to take a while to restore levels. But if you're really down in the dumps as far as dopamine and having no motivational drive, I think the, I'll have Andrew look up the word, it's called like the feeling of no joy whatsoever. That's normally what happens when people cold turkey off Adderall, cold turkey off MDMA. It's just like the feeling of zero joy, which I had about, you know, week two of the lion's main withdrawal. No, nothing, nothing interested me. If someone like gave me, if they told me I won the lottery, I'd be like, Okay, like no, nothing would trigger me because there's no dopamine going on whatsoever. Now with my bipolarism, it's obvious that I overproduce dopamine and I overproduce norepinephrine. So I'm getting out of this faster in my opinion, where I feel like this is one of those secret compounds that could sincerely help someone if you're careful with it, right? If you start to notice some weird shit, I would get off it. There's not much to go off of. This is a very nuanced sketch type compound, but as far as the carbolins go, a lot of the car carbolins aren't aren't good in the brain right this is one of those ones that has been a gem essentially so that's what i have to say head rush immediately felt the dopamine increase immediately as far as administration it's not oral sublingual for sure aka if you don't hold it under your tongue for five ten minutes and let it burn the fuck out of your mouth then you're probably not going to get enough into the system than if you swallow it and it gets broken up by the stomach so i feel like a lot of people on reddit are like oh i didn't notice anything like if you're just gonna swallow it's just not gonna work sublingual administration 100 percent with this compound do not do oral administration hurt the bottom of your mouth do sublingual you will get a much more profound effect because i tried both tried a really long sublingual last night and boom i really felt it tried a oral this morning boom really didn't feel anything so i definitely noted that but yeah i'm gonna keep you guys posted i definitely feel better on this but we'll see what happens when i come off it and cycle off it as well as any more side effects continuing on it but i did want to highlight this compound for sure and comment your experiences experiences down below. I will see you guys in my next video.